Patrick's Day Parade. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a lot of sunshine. Temperatures at the start of the parade in the lower 40s overall. Really a nice Sunday. Temperatures overall, though, will be just slightly below average for this time of year. The average high now into the lower 50s. We're going to get into the 50s, but that's going to happen later on this upcoming week. So we'll talk about that coming up first. Let me show you a couple of pictures. This one sent in from Lynn Springer Kennel. Take a look at this big mound of snow still located in this parking lot. Well, some melting is going to be going on today. I can tell you that much with temperatures in the 40s, but some areas might see some snow on the way, and we'll talk about that as well, specifically in the Monday night into Tuesday time frame. Temperatures right now, it is a chilly start to this Sunday morning. Jenny and Cherry Hill at 32 degrees. Peter in Lawrenceville says 30 degrees in his backyard. We have Ed in Chesterfield at 28. You kind of get the picture. Temperatures for a lot of our weather watchers are checking in in the 20s and 30s. William and Levittown right around 31 degrees. Barbara in Willow Grove says 28 in her backyard. Lou in Eagleville is checking in a little bit cooler there right around 27 degrees. We'll take you to a live look at Center City. You can see that abundant sunshine out there. Severe clear Clear skies, lots of sunshine today, and then we look at temperatures now across the Delaware Valley where it's 30 degrees currently at Philadelphia International. We're in the 20s up into the Lehigh Valley, the Poconos in the mid 20s, 24 in Reading, 24 in Lancaster. Down the shore, we've had a spread in temperatures from Atlantic City to Wildwood, and Wildwood, the numbers are in the mid 30s. As we head throughout the day today, taking a look across the entire region, we're looking at 45 for that high temperature in Philadelphia. Again, less wind, so it's going to feel a little bit more comfortable compared to yesterday. Down the shore, temps in the mid 40s as well, high of 44 degrees. Up in the Poconos, plenty of sun, very quiet day, right around 34 degrees for that high temperature. Not a whole lot going on in the mid Atlantic. As we zoom out, though, we'll show you two pieces of energy that I am keeping a very close eye on. It's still up for debate just how much these two pieces of energy, one over the St. Louis area, one town uh, to our south and west, exactly how much those two are going to interact with one another as we head into tomorrow. Again, this is all going to iron itself out very quickly, especially as we get closer to the actual event. What I can tell you right now, the Monday morning commute looks just fine as you're heading to work. Giving you the yellow light, though, for Monday evening, looking at a rain-snow mix developing from I-95 really south and east. Looks like roads are going to be mainly wet, and then there could be some slippery spots into Tuesday morning with snow ending from uh, southwest to northeast. Let's show you a look at two different models, and I'll show you the differences we're still trying to iron out. We'll start you out with a look at the GFS. This one actually takes the precipitation shield all the way out to the north and west into the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. I'm not completely buying into this just yet, but I want to show it to you anyway because it is a possibility. Seeing a rain-snow mix developing along I-95 as we head into the Monday evening time frame. The bulk of the energy though associated with this area of low pressure stays offshore. So this really isn't going to be a major impact event for us as we head into the Monday afternoon, Monday night and Tuesday time frame. As we head into the overnight hours into Tuesday morning, we see that rain snow line shifting down more to the south and east. Everybody switching over to snow as we head into Tuesday morning because temperatures are going to be cold enough and then this pushes off to the north and east. To show you a look at the North American model, you'll notice the main difference is we don't get hardly any precipitation north and west of I-95. That's the main difference and one of the main things we're trying to iron out with the system. Again, even here, the bulk of the energy is staying offshore. So as I mentioned, this doesn't look like any type of major event for us. It's going to be certainly nothing like the past two north e nor'easters that we dealt with. Wintry mix to snow, coating to three inches can be possible with this, especially for areas south and east. We're still trying to fine tune those snowfall totals. The main energy over the ocean, the forecast is still evolving. And of course, meteorologist Lauren Casey will be in later tonight and she'll continue to fine tune the details. Even as far as the winds are concerned, that issue really stays confined to our coastal areas. Your seven day forecast 43 on Monday, 43 Tuesday. We're at 40 on Wednesday. St. Patrick's Day. Look at this warm up, Jan. Upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Oh, I am 